Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Jake Rothstein on the line, and he's founder and CEO over at Upside Home. Jake? Welcome to the show. Hi. Hey, thanks for being, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Oh, man. So I'm excited to get into this topic. So we're going to talk, get into how Upside Home is building the future of healthy living for older adults. So, I mean, awesome topic, very relevant. Um, let's just jump right in. So tell us a little bit more about Upside Home, please. Sure. So Upside Home is the only fully managed shared living option for independent older adults. Um, we kind of like to call it co-living for grown-ups. You know, co- this idea of co-living has been really prevalent in the millennial generation, but we haven't seen it really, you know, take off in the older adult population, 55, 55 plus. Um, and now more than ever with, the, you know, with COVID and, and the, the light being shown on that, um, senior, existing traditional senior living communities, um, we believe there's a really big need for a different alternative, a better alternative. Uh, and that's what we're working to build at Upside Home. That's awesome. Um, and I think it's a great transition. So let's go uh, a little bit further with this. So um, the future of healthy living for older adults. I mean, what are some of those things that are, are attributes? Let's just maybe define what healthy living means here. Sure. Well, healthy living is different for everybody, but um, we found that two the two biggest problems in senior living and traditional senior living are uh, loneliness, which is actually turning into an epidemic. According to the Harvard Business Review, loneliness is equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day in terms of the negative health impact. Um, wow. And that affects, uh, you know, that affects the healthcare system and affects people's, you know, the length of their lives uh, and the quality of their lives. So we're tackling loneliness in a big way and we're tackling housing affordability and we're doing it in a unique sort of way by providing people with a opportunity to live with someone else. Now, what we do is we utilize apartments in modern amenity-rich apartment communities, safe apartment communities um, that anyone could live in. Uh, you or I could live in an apartment community that we operate in. Um, and then we add a layer of services uh, that are catered towards seniors uh, and give them access to it via a personal and dedicated, what we call a home manager. It's really like a concierge service. So older adults have sometimes struggle with managing the managing the household duties that they might have. You know, they got a roof leak and a plumbing issue and things like that. In an upside home, they don't have to worry about it. But they also don't have to worry about being lonely because they have built-in companionship. We lease per bedroom in apartments. Um, and so, and then we work to match people with compatible roommates. Let's talk a little bit more about the about the kind of matching process of this, because I know there's some people listening right now that they're like, well, you know, it's a great idea. It makes sense. First of all, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, and what what does that part of it look like? I'm just curious. Sure, yeah. So um, in our initial discovery phase, when we're talking to potential new residents, we collect a lot of information about them, about the hobbies and interests that they have, and maybe the languages that they speak. It's a variety of questions, and it's similar to what colleges go through when they're matching people to live in dorms together. Uh, and so we take all this information, we run it through a proprietary software uh, that we built for this purpose. And then what we do is we find people that match based on our software, but that always doesn't get it 100% right. So then we facilitate meetings. We facilitate, typically we do over a lunch or a meal or a coffee, because we find that you know when people meet each other face-to-face and break bread together, it's a really nice way to get to know one another pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, it doesn't always work out perfectly. So what we like to say is we want to be really, really flexible with people. And if you try it and you don't like uh, the roommate that you're with, it's no problem. We can very easily move you to another upside home or another room in another upside home uh, really, really easily. So we're extraordinarily flexible in the in the way we have agreements with people in, the, in, the, in our leases and contracts. Wow, that's exciting. And uh, so what kind of response have you got from your community on this? Um, like what's been the response? Uh, we're overwhelmed, honestly. So we just, for you know, full transparency, we launched about a couple weeks before the COVID outbreak, and uh, you know, people are looking at senior living now really, really closely mm-hmm. because a lot of people's parents are stuck in communities and they can't visit them, and, and all of these really hard things. Um, and so we presented ourselves really. The timing's a little bit weird, but we presented ourselves with this really unique opportunity and unique option. That's not only what we believe to be a, a better option for a lot of people. You know, there's always going to be a place in the market for traditional 
independent living and assisted living communities, no question about it. Um, and right. about 10% of the population right now lives or will live in a, in a community like that. But the, for the 90% of the population that may not be suitable for those types of communities, we are going to provide that alternative that's not only we believe will be, uh, you know, a easier transition to ultimately, if, you know, if you have to go into a place like that, but also a lot more of an affordable option for people. Our bedrooms start at $1,500 a month versus the average independent living uh, community in our, where we are in down in South Florida um, starts at $4,500 a month. So, you know, there's a big price disparity. And what we've done in order to do that is not only sharing a unit, sharing a home with someone enable us to lower costs, but we've sort of decoupled the services piece from the real estate piece. So now we provide at the very bare minimum a safe, comfortable, nice, amenity-rich place to live. Um, and if you want extra services like meals delivered, like housekeeping, like uh, companionship visits, like help with helps with help with rides to the doctor, you can get those and you can access it for that via a single point of contact. And if you don't want that, you don't have to pay for it. And that's awesome. Um, so there's some some a la carte option there too. So that, that's great. Uh, what what um I, you mentioned you're in you're in Florida. Is that the is that the primary market for the service, or give us a give us a feel on geography? Yeah. So we have about a hundred, just over a hundred units available now in the tri county area in Florida, Broward, Dade, and Palm Beach. Um, but we're expanding really rapidly. So we're we're looking to be in the entire state of Florida have availability in all uh, the biggest cities in Florida by the end of this calendar year and then beyond that regionally in Q1 of 2021 and then uh, hopefully nationally right after right after that. So we're expanding really quickly. The demand has been really overwhelming um, and it's very exciting. What are what have you found are the right types of, because um, a lot of people listening right now that are maybe thinking about this possibly for themselves, possibly for their parents, just depends on demographic and where they're at. Um, but that being said, what have you found are typically the right fit um, in terms of um, in terms of tenants uh, to work with upside home? Sure. It really ranges. Uh, what we've found is that everybody ages a little bit differently. Age is really just a number, and you could be 55 and be a type 2 diabetic and have trouble with mobility. Um, and you could also be on the flip side, 96 and running marathons. So we, what we thought originally was going to be a really, you know, uh, narrow path. It has turned out yeah. to be a really, you know, a really broad array of people coming to us for different needs and for different reasons. Um, a lot of people just don't want to be lonely. And so, you know, originally the concept was around this idea of the golden girls living and let's get a house and let's manage everything for people and, Bring your friends and live with your friends in your retirement, and that'll be it'll be really fun. It'll be like college again. And, you know, everyone will win because you can share the expenses of a house. Uh, and what we've seen is we have some people coming to us with friends, but what we've seen most people coming to us are coming to us as independent. Um, and so they're looking for looking to be matched up with someone compatible. They want friends, and that's a really exciting and cool thing that we learned uh, really pretty early on and that we didn't really expect. Wow, that is super exciting, especially when you think about the idea of um, moving to Florida, especially if that's going to be a retirement. So when I think about when my mom moved to Florida, she got, she moved into her her um, area down there, and she just, by like happenstance, happened to run into friends that she hadn't seen in like 20 years or something that also had retired there, and they all went on their separate way. So she was like, we were worried about her. Like, are you sure you want to go there? Like, you don't have that support base and this and that. But with this, it's completely different. Now it's like if she was going there, she's like, oh, no, I have this great um, roommate that I'm going to be living with and this and that. And, no, I met her and it's going to be, you know, so I can see how this is just an amazing transition and um, wish I would have known this has existed before she moved down there. I mean, it just seems like a great <laughs> option and it's a big deal because I was worried about her being down there lonely or are you going to know new people or things like that? So it's, it's really cool. I love it. Um, yeah, so Jake, it's a problem for a lot of people. It's a problem for a lot of people. So we want to be there for that, you know, to be create a really great solution for them. So, Jake, um, that being said, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Upside Home, um, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out and to connect with you and your team? Sure. Uh, best way is to visit us online at UpsideHome.com. That's home without the E, uh, .com. And uh, they could also email us at info at joinupside.com. 
Fantastic. Well, Jake, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about all the great work that you're doing over at Upside Home. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Jake, thanks again for coming on the show.